All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through sponsored by the deli. Hungry? Stop by the deli and get yourself a lentil taco. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Lentil tacos. This is 9-3, number 6. A great question to ask because the proofs from this section get a little weird because of the reasoning. So, um... We are given that RT is an altitude and PRS is a right angle. And that's the best thing that we can be given, okay? Because it gives us exactly what we want. Um, to use Theorem 68 in your book, not that you would know it as 68, but um, it's really three theorems in one. You need to know that you have a right triangle with an altitude drawn to the base. So once that's drawn, you know, now you've got to be careful here. So the similarity statement matters. Triangle PTR, I chose that order, is similar to triangle. Now notice, I went from down the short leg, and then down the long leg. So what is my order in my middle triangle? Very good. RTS. And what is my order in my large triangle? PRS. And this is the weird part of this section, just how to write this reason. So you say, if right triangle with altitude to hypotenuse, then, and we're going to use part A of this theorem, part A, three triangles are similar. That's the, that's the, the biggest shortcut we can make it. Okay? So now, I think we can go right to the answer. PR is to RS. Okay, now notice, so we did PR is to RS. So we better do the first two with the second two. It better match up. So I hope it's either RT is to TS or PT is to TR. Is it one of those two? And I know they have ST, but ST and TS are the same thing, so I'm going to write it as it appears in my congruence statement, or sorry, my similarity statement, and that would be um, corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. It's like a circle of life. Now we're back into proofs that are only three steps. Boop.